It makes my head just explode hearing Bernie Sanders try to justify support for bread lines. If you are waiting in line for bread in the way that happens in communist countries, it means your economy has collapsed to the point because of central control that there is no way to produce the amount of food to feed your people. Who defends that? Uh, monstrous evil people, Liz, otherwise known as hardcore leftists. Now, th this is beyond inexcusable, okay? Bernie Sanders, when he was mayor of Burlington, Vermont in the 1980s, literally flew a hammer and sickle flag in his office, okay? The Castro instance, the clip that we just played, is actually broader, it's more indicative of a broader worldview. Bernie Sanders opposed the United States of America's existential communist foe when we were in the middle of mutually assured destruction with Gorbachev's Soviet Union. That is non-exaggeration. He supported Castro, he supported the Sandinistas in Nicaragua against the Contras, and he honeymooned to and flew a hammer and sickle flag of the Soviet Union. This is, it, 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 it's very difficult to listen to that clip to read Bernie Sanders' personal record and conclude that this is a man who, anything other than hates America. He really hates what America stands for. But that's what the hard left is these days, Liz. They all just hate, they hate our founding principles. They really do. Right, and I, I the, the thing that really gets me about this, aside from the fact that Bernie Sanders openly was praising communists and, you know, opposing the United States and our, you know, liberty and freedom and justice for all, he has never disavowed the comments that he's made. He never has said, I was an idiot, I was a communist, then I saw the light, and now I'm a capitalist. I believe in freedom and not oppression. He has never distanced himself or disavowed any of these comments, which are on tape, not allegations. They are fact, they are truth. He's not distanced himself at all. No, far from it. He has literally a 50 plus year history of this. He graduated college sometime in the 60s, right around 64, 65, I wanna say. And then he actually went to Israel at the time. And at the time, Israel was far from the capitalistic venture capital hub of entrepreneurship that is today. At, at, that, at that time, Israel, prior to the 67 war, was supported by the Soviets. It was a pretty socialistic country. Bernie Sanders, while he was there, worked and studied at a Stalinist kibbutz. Okay, so his radicalization started in college. It started then. He was involved with Marxist political parties in his early political career in Vermont in the 1970s. He goes back a long way, and he's not going to renege. He's never going to admit he's wrong, because this is who he is. Right. He will take this to his grave, along with the other graves of the 10 million people who were murdered by communism in the entire 20th century.